Now, uh, one thing that I've seen in the in the news, which is very heartening to me, is a lot of these, um, uh, a lot of um, uh, representatives and senators are being confronted by their constituents on the health care issue. This is very heartening to me because this is exactly the kind of thing that we need. Now, a lot of people contend that there is no point in doing anything. There is absolutely no point in contacting your representatives, contacting your senators to get anything done. Because they don't serve us, they serve big fucking business and anybody who has the money to fucking pay them off. Okay? I'm not going to argue that point right now. What I'm going to say, this is very important, a key issue which I want you to understand fully, okay? The more people who get politically involved, the more people who make an effort to have their voice heard, and if they find that they are fucking ignored by their representatives, that is more people who will become convinced that the government is not working for them. That will firmly place them on the side of people like us who want real fucking change. They'll have been convinced by their own efforts. If, on the other hand, they do listen, and something does change, then perhaps the republic can be saved. I doubt that, as you know. Okay? And as far as health care goes, I don't care what your particular position is. Okay? Whether you think there needs to be reform or not. You know where I stand. I've done videos on this before. I'm for single-payer, universal health care for everybody. Everybody gets put in the same system it could be Medicare or it could be a new system uh, formed where, where you have the entire apparatus of the, of the uh, delivery system in this country left totally intact to run themselves the way they do. All doctors autonomous, all hospitals, hospitals privately owned, etc. Whatever they're at right now, that's where, the, where they stay. It doesn't get touched at all. Just eliminate the middleman of the insurance industry. Period. Everybody goes on single pair. Everybody gets into the same fucking plan. Okay? And if everybody is forced to be in the same exact plan from the very poorest to the very richest, there will be a great amount of monetary and political incentive to make sure that that system delivers the same quality product that is delivered in this country today when people can afford it. Okay? So... Whatever your situation is, that's fine. You don't have to agree with me. But be fucking vocal and stay on this issue. And do not let it rest. Okay? And uh, one final thing of note. And, and, and this is uh, something that I find absolutely fucking astonishing. A, a spokesman for Obama uh, was quoted as saying that the stimulus is working despite the hundreds of thousands of lost jobs that continue to pour out of corporate America. Now, I'd like to know what is the measure by which they judge if something is working or not. Now, if in fact you're using criteria to determine whether or not a particular program is effective, and you look at the outcomes of that program and correlate it to the events that have transpired, okay? One can make a correlation and then one can decide whether or not that particular plan is going as, as said, okay? So, in other words, if I look at the situation the way it is and I see that hundreds of thousands of more jobs are lost every fucking month, then I can only conclude, since the administration says the stimulus is working, that its intent is to create more job losses, even though the lie was told to us that three million jobs would either be saved or created as a result of this fucking boondoggle giveaway. Okay? So, there's your correlation. Hundreds of thousands of jobs lost every fucking month. Stimulus is working. Therefore, equals, stimulus equals more jobs lost. Simple.
That must be what it means. And that must be what the fucking stimulus was all about in the first place. And uh, one passing note on a shooting that occurred here in Pennsylvania by a man named George Sudini, uh, armed with several uh, weapons, went into a health club and shot uh, a room full of uh, aerobics uh, students. Uh, intending to kill women, presumably, uh, from his blog and from uh, what uh, police have been able to gather about this guy. Uh, you know, I've read his uh, blog entries, and uh, it's quite obvious that he is trying to justify his actions uh, and also trying to portray himself as being a poor, sad guy who was uh, put down all of his life and, and, and come up in a really sad environment, etc., etc., etc. Trying to engender some form of... Uh, of uh, you know connection with people after his death because he planned on killing himself at the end of this rampage anyway which he did succeed in doing uh, but um, you know I look at it and I can't generate any sympathy for the man whatsoever because uh, all I see is a pathetic loser someone who um, you know just couldn't control any aspect of his life um, and was taken away with any event that uh, he deemed to be uh, too much for him to handle and uh, you know I, I can't have sympathy for a person like that because uh, there is no correlation between a problem in your life and going out and gunning down uh, perfectly defenseless people and uh, I don't care what kind of sick mentality you have you can't make a correlation between that so far I haven't seen anything uh, talking about uh, uh, you know, more restrictions on guns, but I wouldn't be surprised if that was to come up. Uh, but, uh, of course, I know all of you will agree that that is the specious argument. Uh, this guy was simply a total fucking whack job. And uh, I can't generate any sympathy for him at all. And uh, I don't care what uh, people might say about, you know, his upbringing and past. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of talk about psychological motivation and all of this, but... But uh, you take a look for yourself if you can get access to it. I'm sure most of his sites have been uh, disconnected. Um, but uh, you could see for yourself he's just a pathetic loser. And uh, you know what? I know a lot of people who are, um, you know, who would be classified as losers, but they're not pathetic. They continue to, to live their lives and do their thing. But you become a pathetic loser whenever you go over that and say because my life's miserable and I can't control it and I can't do something about it I'm going to go and end some other people's lives along with myself that's when you become a pathetic fucking loser thank you good night